Hello, and welcome back to Naismith Gaming. I'm the Naismith, here to give you a game to enjoy and some questions to think about. I'm returning to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, playing the side stories. Last I left off, I finished Reflection Part 2, so now I'm going to be playing, well, reading, narrating through Part 1 of Self Love. It's only been one day since Yuri's letter was delivered to Natsuki, with Monica's help. Because Yuri does not choose... Because Yuri chose not to attend the club meeting that day, she and Natsuki haven't faced each other since. Although it's only lunchtime, Yuri finds herself anxiously con counting the hours until she will need to face the outcome of her efforts, whether good or bad. And because the passing by of students was making her feel even more anxious, Yuri picked out the most secluded spot she could find to spend her lunch. Because the staircase is under maintenance, no student would have any reason for coming here. It's such a relaxing feeling to have a moment of solitude in the middle of a frantic school day. Wait. Okay, that was not actually Yuri saying it, so I don't need to go back and, uh... And, uh, narrate in her voice. Heep. What are you doing here? Um, I, I just... Yuri grips her book with enough force to wrinkle the pages beneath the pressure of her thumbs. Well, what are you doing here? I just came to get a drink from the vending machine. The other one is out of the drink I like. Yuri no notices Natsuki fidgeting with a few coins between her fingers. She nods, avoiding eye contact. Natsuki, although also looking away, shuffles over to the vending machine. It's so quiet that every one of her movements seems to reverberate through the stairwell. After far too long, she finally receives her beverage, which she then fidgets with in place of the coins. It's some kind of iced tea. But instead of leaving right away, Natsuki just stands in place. She glances all around her. It's like way too quiet back here. It's creepy. I mean... Not what I meant, really. I mean, it's totally cool that's your thing or whatever. Like, I can see how it suits you, so... Not because I think you're creepy or something. I didn't mean that either. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> and her, She's blushing, of sorts. <laughs> it's okay. Everything is okay. Yuri finds herself attempting some words of comfort after hearing Natsuki stammer herself into, de into dejection. Seemingly in response, Natsuki approaches the base of the staircase and hesitantly sits herself down near Yuri. Well, I can leave if you want. Yuri shakes her head. Natsuki twists the cap off her drink and takes a sip. Despite receiving Yuri's general permission, Natsuki doesn't say anything more. Yuri continues to read, or at least pretends to. and the two just sit there for a long time. The tension seems to fade a little bit as time passes. Even without any words, it seems to mean at least something, but it's not clear what that may be. Lunch ends more quickly than expected. Natsuki's first stand-up with her empty drink bottle. Are you coming today? To the club? Yuri nods. I'm sorry for being so awkward. I'm really bad at talking about this stuff. I just can't for some reason. I don't know why. But I want to, eventually. There's no rush. I promise. Thanks. It's the next day. Natsuki appears from around the corner and steps up to the vending machine, glancing at Yuri as she does so. Today, she seems to be holding some kind of book as well. Oh, you're here again. No, I just came here to read this, because there aren't any people around here. Oh, I thought you didn't like how quiet it was. Well, I don't, but there's no people here. I see. Natsuki sits down. The mood feels much different today than it did yesterday. The music is different too, I'll note. After yesterday's lunch and the club meeting that followed, Natsuki and Yuri are beginning to feel more relaxed around each other again. Although Yuri's letter is still lingering in the back of Natsuki's mind, she continues to detour around it. But it's okay that I'm here? Yeah, I don't care. 
I mostly just don't feel like dealing with the crap I get from my friends about it. Especially since they, like, all just assumed I stopped reading manga after I joined the literature club. Not that I'm trying to hide it from them, exactly. I just don't want it to come up again now after I waited so long for this new volume to come out. Literally months at this point. You don't have other friends who are into manga? Not unless online friends count. And Sayori, but that's different, because she's not exactly into it, she just likes it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Ah, so you're lucky that the books you're into at least look, just look like books, so you don't have to feel like everyone's constantly judging you by what you're reading. That would be so awful. Especially since I already hate attention so much. Mm. Well, it's a good thing I have thick skin, I, I have thick skin, I guess. By the way, I would totally recommend finding some friends online if you haven't already. If you're like me and have no one to share your hobbies with. Oh, I have online friends. Since middle school, actually. I was especially desperate back then. It's somewhat embarrassing to reminisce about those days. Sometimes I feel like the me from a few years ago would have benefited from a good smack across the face. Oh, whatever. We were all just stupid kids back then, anyway. Natsuki is being even more of a sin at least as much of a Sundiri as she is in uh, the main game. It's all the fanfics I wrote. Thank god I used the pseudonym. <laughs> I liked it at the time. Got a lot of fulfillment out of it. And plus, I can look back and say with confidence I've become a better person since then. So I don't think I would change anything. I wonder if a few years from now we'll think the same thing about our current selves. Ah, <laughs> probably. That doesn't make you uncomfortable? No, of course not. I don't care what other people think of me. Especially someone who doesn't even exist yet. Hmm. Alright, here. Natsuki raises her hand to her face and forcefully slaps her own cheek. That's me for the future, coming to terms with me right now. Also, ow, we didn't need to do it that hard. <laughs> Yuri doesn't seem to react. But then, to Natsuki's surprise, Yuri shyly looks the other way before lifting her arm and doing the same thing to herself, smacking her, loudly smacking her cheek. She turns red and stares into her lap, but is unable to hide a smile, as though it was a really funny joke. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't know I, you had it in you. <laughs> I... I don't. I don't even know why I did that. Maybe I thought it would be funny. Sorry, I keep distracting you. You said you were looking forward to reading, but I keep going on about all this nonsense. I'll let you get to your reading. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll do that then. <laughs> the conversation ends quickly and that's if he opens her book. The two read silently for the remainder of the lunch hour. But the whole time, Yuri feels distracted by a twist of regret over having so abruptly forced the end of their conversation. You're back. Yeah, yeah, I'm here to lay low again. No, day passed. During lunchtime, that suit can find herself in one of stairwell once more. Hey, did you buy that? Natsuki quickly notices a bottle of iced tea on the staircase where she normally sits. Yuri nods, avoiding eye contact. What, like for me? You didn't know I was coming here today. What if I didn't show up? Well, I, guess, I mean, I would have drank it myself, I guess. It was a stupid thing to do. No, it, it wasn't stupid. I just thought, never mind. What I meant to say is thank you. And that's a really nice gesture. It's okay if you don't have to feel that way. I do. It was the other things I, I did. It was the other things I didn't mean. I swear, please believe me. Hmm. Yuri pauses and nods. Hard. I get it. I believe you. Natsuki exhales in relief. She then sits down next to Yuri and takes the drink. Knowing Yuri, she's probably overthinking it so much that Natsuki's tepid response filled her with self-doubt. I'll do something nice for you next time. Please, don't feel obligated. I want to. I want to do nice things, too. Okay. Thank you. You can thank me after I figure out how to do something nice. <laughs> I'll do it then, too. Natsuki sighs. Hmm? Now, thank just reminds me of how I haven't been getting along with my friends lately. Is that why you've been coming here? Well, no, not exactly. I haven't been avoiding them on purpose or anything. There are just other things I'd rather be doing during lunch lately. 
I like being around them when we're all just having fun, but they also just can't take anything seriously. So when I'm, I don't know, feeling serious, their attitudes just really get on my nerves. So I've gotten worse ever since I, ever since I joined the literature club. How come? I don't know. I just feel like I used to be really good at just putting up with it. It would be so stupid to cause drama over a joke I didn't like or something. But I just have a hard time doing that lately. But it's my fault for being overly sensitive. If I have a problem, I'm not going to demand it for everyone around me to change. But, yeah, I know. Monica and Sayori don't really don't agree with that kind of thing. But they're not in my position, so it's easy for them to say that you should just communicate your feelings or whatever. It's not like my friend group does, does that kind of thing. I'd just be making an embarrassment to myself. Sorry, none of this, none of this has, any, has anything to do with you. I don't know why I'm talking about. It's okay. I like listening. What? Listening to other people's problems? Yes. Yes. Ahaha, uh, that's weird. Sorry. I just like learning about people. You think it's weird? No, that's not weird. I probably just misunderstood still. I don't know. Does that mean I should keep going? If you'd like. Okay. But I don't know what to talk about now. What are some things that you like about your friends? A lot of things. I mean, they're really fun to hang out with, like after school and on the weekends. And they really like my baking. And it's fun to complain about school together. They make me laugh a lot. We have a good, lot of good memories and inside jokes. Oh, I'm bad at a lot of those things. So? Are all those things that are important to you? Are those all things that are important? Well, kind of. They're not things I need to get out of everybody. Everyone in the club is really different from that. But I'm still friends with them, too. Well, Sayori really likes your baking. And she makes you laugh. And she complains a lot. That doesn't mean she's anything like my other friends. Well, unlike them, she's a nice person who cares about your feelings. Excuse me? How you don't talk that way about my friends that you don't know anything about? Natsuki stands up. No, oh, wait. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't want to say something bad. Please don't leave. Natsuki sighs and shakes her head. It's fine. As long as you understand that you can't just judge people like that. I'm sorry. Natsuki sits back down. You can't just compare friends like that and, like, measure who's better than who. Everyone's different. I'm sorry. I just... I just don't like people who want to hurt you. Well, the silence stretches between them. They don't want to hurt me. We just like to tease each other about stupid things. It's fun. I don't like that. Well, that's why I'm friends with them and you're not. You like it? Just don't worry so much about me. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. I wish I knew how to help with social conflicts. Like how Monica can. She's good at these things. Not really. Also, I don't always want help. Sometimes it's just stuff I have to deal with myself. That's what Monica and Sayori never seem to understand. Sometimes all you do is look at them wrong and they're like, Ah, oh, what's wrong? Is everything okay? I just want to mind my own business sometimes. And decide myself if I want to talk about things. The only one who understands that is you. So you really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You're not as bad as you think. Oh, you don't need to reassure me or anything. I mean, I mean that. Plus, it makes sense that someone who doesn't talk a lot would make a good listener. Thank you. You're also nice. It's really hard for me. It doesn't come naturally at all. It's so weird because I always thought of myself as someone who can just say whatever's on my mind. I feel like that only works when I'm annoyed or upset or I want to say something mean. Why am I like that? You don't have to answer that. I'm just talking to myself. Yuri nods and remains silent. Natsuki notices her fidgeting with the pages of her book. How come you're reading so much? How come you like reading so much? Oh, um, well, a lot of reasons. But I just get sucked into it so easily. So immersive. Like I want to be a part of it. I think there are a lot of things about people in real life that make me feel uncomfortable and frustrated. Especially when it comes to following social conventions and group interactions. I just don't really understand it. I have no real desire to participate. But it's different with books. It feels like I always want to be around the characters. I feel much I feel a strong emotional connection with them in ways I've never felt with real people. So in that way, it can sometimes feel more than real life. More real than life. Really? Is that hard for you to be around people? Like all the time? Hmm, fairly often. Especially in group settings. When people are making all kinds of conversations, saying jokes, 
and all of that. I don't know what to do, and I just disengage. Oh, that doesn't get lonely? I don't think so. I still enjoy spending time with people one-on-one. -on -one. I have online friends too, of course. Do you ever... Do you ever wish that you could be friends with the characters in your books? All the time. Sometimes so badly that it makes my heart ache. Yeah, me too. Really? Mm-hmm. A lot. Like, more than anything. After Natsuki mutters that, sound stills the stairwell once more. But it's a mutual silence. One full of understanding. Okay, that side story is done. Well, I've still got part two to do. I'm now at 97%. <sighs> so anyway, um... What do you think about, uh... Books as, uh... As compared to how Yuri and Natsuki think of them? Or about, uh their issues. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day. This is the Naismith signing out.